hey welcome back to my channel please extend a hand of friendship by liking this video and subscribing to my channel in this video i'll be making my think pink breast cancer awareness soap this is part one because i didn't make it twice because i wasn't happy or completely happy with the first one so this is the first one and here i am just pouring my live solution into my oils I added one teaspoon or sea moss powder to my soap batter and the reason for that is because it really rehydrates the skin and it kind of leaves the skin feeling silky and smooth so I want to add that to my soap. Interesting enough, I do actually have a hanger swirl tool that I have never used, but for some reason I really like this old thermometer as my swirling tool. I made this soap on a Friday and normally I would unmold it within 24 hours but I was out of town for the weekend so this is actually 48 hours later and it was actually still a little soft. I love how smooth it looks and, and the colors. It came out really nice. It just didn't give breast cancer vibes to me so that's the reason why you'll be seeing part two next week. I love the cut, it's like an unveiling because you get to see the beautiful swirls. They came out really pretty. I stamp all of my soap bars on the side now. It's just easier, more efficient, quicker. Stamp them all. I use saran wrap to keep the soap bits from getting into my stamp. So if you like this video and you're looking forward to part two, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And for now, black hands are out. Bye-bye, guys.